Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank, and today I'm checking out the Titan option for the Odyssey recorders from Convergent Design. The Titan option is a option that can be purchased or rented, and what it allows me to do is put a 4K signal into the Odyssey, and then I can do 1920 by 1080 discrete uh, recordings based from that input. I'm going to set up three frames. My first frame, which is an A frame, is going to be a super sampled uh, version of the full 4K image coming into the Odyssey. The B and the C frames, those are 1920 by 1080 frames that I'm going to set up myself. So I want to set up the menus, show how the option gets activated, and then show you all the different options we have on here. As a matter of fact, that's why I have an additional monitor on here, just so you can see how we can uh, monitor our recording as well. Right now, the Odyssey is just seeing one input of the two inputs I have for uh, the 4K input into the camera or into the recorder, I should say. So I'm now going to go and I'm going to set this up so that we can do the multi-stream recording. So I'm going to press on my uh, tab over here. And the first thing I'm going to do is go over to my camera, which is a Sony. I'm using F55. And I'm going to select the item down here that says multi-stream. At that point, it gives me a different uh, options here for the Titan. And what I want to do is I want to do the Titan 4K UHD extract. So I'm going to option that, click OK, and in a moment it will restart itself and then we'll be ready to start setting up our preferences. Here's our home screen for the Titan option. And you can see that we now have a quad view with a one of the four quads uh, dark. I'll get to that in just a moment. Right here, I want to touch on these uh, buttons down here. So I'm, here's our quad view. If I touch on A, notice I have this highlight. It says A1080. So we are doing a 1080 recording. What I want to note here is that the A frame, as I would mentioned, is the super sampled version of the 4K input. So that you could be thinking of this as your full view of the 4K frame as uh, we're getting it right off the camera. The B frame and the C frame are going to be these compositions that I make myself. So if I go in here and I look at the A frame preference, now I have the full 4K. Now I can move this tab around. Notice it says B right here and it says 1080. And I have C. I can move that around. And that's 1080 as well. So let's just say this is how I want to do my recording. I can go through and I can check each of those frames, make sure it's exactly as I like it, check the focus, zoom in, check focus, all that good stuff. I'm going to go back to the quad view. And I'm going to push on the tab key for just a moment. And this opens up the preferences for what we're going to be looking at and how we're going to operate with this. So uh, first thing here is a live switch mode. And what this is asking is how you want to be uh, working with that fourth recording. Because as I mentioned, uh, we're going to be recording these three different frames. But we also have the option of recording a switch cut. So you'll notice that there's a red band around A frame right now. And I can simply tap on these. And now as I'm recording these three frames, I can be making a fourth recording, which would be my switch cut. So these are the preferences. So I can look at program and preview on outputs. I could do straight cuts, or I could fade between different shots. And I could change the speed at which that fade takes place with this. Over here, it's asking me what I want to do or how I want to be viewing uh, different aspects of the setup. So on SDI-A, I have the ability to look at my preview. And on SDI-B out, I can do my program. And that's probably what we'll do is we'll set up another monitor just so you can see that process take place. So we are pretty much good to go. Uh, about the only other thing you'd want to do in here is go in and uh, just double check some of the things uh, that you want to uh, for the preferences. So I'm going to tap on my video codec. And here you can see you've got uh, four different flavors of ProRes, my camera trigger preferences, and the project uh, frame rate. Uh, of course, I've set this to follow the input. 
so we're all good there. So pretty much the only thing left to do is go set up and do a recording and then check it out on post. So I've come into the lens repair room to show you the uh, way that we can use this 4K setup with the Titan option. So as you can see, uh, let's go to my wide shot here, which is the A. And you can see I've got uh, Jeff on the left there and Casey on the right, and they're working away on lenses. So A frame is going to be that super sampled 4K down to 1080. My B frame is going to be Jeff here. I'm just going to give him a little headroom. And my C frame, Casey here, I'm just going to frame him up a little bit more. And so now I'm going to go into the quad. And as I switch, notice on my uh, external or my other monitor here, which is showing me the uh, program cut. This is going to be the fourth track that gets recorded. You can see that now I can do a switch cut and that's what's going to be recorded. So I'm just going to roll up a little footage here and I'll show you how to uh, work with this in post. All right, so I've taken a drive out of the Odyssey and if I open the drive up, you're going to see that I have um, my clip folders and I have a clip open this one, notice that this clip 12, if I look at it, it just shows me the wide shot. And actually what's in there are the four different tracks, but they're embedded. So I need to use a software program from Convergent Design in order to open that up. And what I'm going to use transfer, so opening this up, screen a little bigger here for us. All right, so I'm going to do at the top here, I'm going to select the Odyssey drive open that up and down here I'm going to uh, set the destination and I'm going to put it into my training folder okay I made a folder called Titan files open that up and now I simply let it transfer okay so the transfer has been complete I'm not going to get a log here I'm going to open up my external drive. There's the Titan files, and you'll see that I have A, B, and C. So those are my uh, three uh, frames that I made. And then this one right here is the switch cut that I made, the live switch. So there I am, switching between the different angles, and uh, away they go. That wraps up our look at the Titan option for the Odyssey recorder. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.